In this video, we are going to learn how to use Microsoft Excel inside Pabli Connect. So first, we will see that how we can use Microsoft Excel as a trigger application in Pabli Connect. It means whenever you add a new data to your Excel spreadsheet, how the very same data can be captured in Pabli Connect and how the same data can be sent to any application you want. And in the second step, we'll be seeing that how we can use Microsoft Excel as an action application in Pabli Connect. It means whenever you're receiving the responses from any application, like CRM software application, scheduling applications, or from chat or messaging applications, or from any other application, how the same, very same data can be added as a new row to your Excel spreadsheet. And for that, you need to come to my screen. Welcome to my screen. Here, let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Now, if you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you are going to get free tasks every month. If you are already a user of Pabli Connect, simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as how to use Microsoft Excel inside Pabli Connect. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we will be learning that how we can use Microsoft Excel inside Pabli Connect. So first we'll be looking at how we can use Microsoft Excel as a trigger application. So simply open this trigger application and here we'll be choosing Microsoft Excel. Now here we have to select the trigger event. So here we have various trigger events, new workbook. It is going to trigger when a new workbook is created. New worksheet. It is going to trigger when a new worksheet is added to a specific workbook. New row in a worksheet. It is going to trigger whenever a new row is added at the last to the existing worksheet. Okay. And new row in a table. So this particular trigger is going to run whenever a new row is added to last to existing table. Okay. So here we'll be selecting the trigger event as new row in a worksheet. Let's click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Excel. Now it is asking let this app access your info. So here we have to just scroll down and click on yes to give away the permissions. Authorization successful. And now the Microsoft Excel account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now, as we have created a connection, here we can find all the workbooks that I have created in my Microsoft Excel account. Okay, when I'll show you over here, we can find all the workbooks that I have created. So here, uh, just for the integration purpose, I have created a new workbook and uh, the workbook name is new leads where I'm taking the details. Uh, that is the first name of the customer, last name, email address and the phone number. And here you can see that the sheet name is leads. I have created single sheet. Okay, so we'll be selecting this particular spreadsheet or the workbook that is new leads in Pabli Connect so that all the details are captured in Pabli Connect. Okay, so here we'll be selecting the same workbook name that is new leads. Now, as we have created a single worksheet, it is automatically captured. But if you have created multiple worksheets from the drop down, you can select your specific worksheet name. Okay, now we have to click on save and send test request just because we have already added some data to this particular worksheet. Okay, so let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response is received and all the details that were available in your MS Excel spreadsheet are captured over here. We can find the row index as one, customer name as dummy, last name as customer, his email address as well as the phone number. So now here I want to give an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the response as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently. The data will surely arrive. Okay. And here also it is mentioned that this particular trigger will check for the new data in every 8 hours. 
okay so you have learned that how we can use microsoft excel as a trigger application in uh, public connect so here we have got the details now you can use these details to send the data to any application you want let's say you want the uh, you want to send the data to click up to create a new task so we have to just choose the ap action application over here that is click up and here we have to select the action event so to create a task click on connect click on add new connection and here it is asking for the token so here we have to just go to the ClickUp account. We have to click on profile icon at the bottom left corner, go to the apps and you can find the API token. So I will just take you to my ClickUp account. From here, I'll just click on this profile icon. From here, we have to move to the app section and here we can find the API token. So let's copy it and we'll be pasting the same over here to create a connection. And now let's click on save. And here we can see that the ClickUp account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we'll be selecting the workspace which is automatically captured. And here the space name is Connect Pabli Modifications and all the spaces are captured over here. Here you can see that we have the same spaces over here in my ClickUp account also. Okay, that is Connect Pabli Modifications and other spaces. Okay, so now I want to create a new task in my Connect space in Pabli Leads folder. Okay, so we'll be selecting the same over here. The space would be connect. And here we'll be selecting the folder name as Pabli Leads. And in this particular Pabli Leads folder, I have created a single list that is new leads, which is automatically captured. Now it is asking for the task name and its description. So here I'll be just giving a random task name that is new lead received. Okay, and here we'll be adding the description. So let us give the name of the customer. Sorry, we have to just type it over here. And after that, I'll be mapping the data that we have got from our trigger response over here. So we will be mapping these details for mapping. Just click it over here and simply select the name from the drop down. And the name was dummy as well as the last name that is customer. Then let us give the email address also. So here we'll be mapping the email address. Along with that, let us map the phone number also okay so we have entered all the description now we are going to assign this task to Gary Monroe you can select the assignee as per your requirement here if you want to specify some tags you can just give it over here you are you can select the priority as urgent high normal task I'm just keeping it as high priority task if you want to specify some due dates to the task as well as the start date also you can just give it over here but that should be in the timestamp format, which you can convert and you can get it from the date and time format. Okay. And here we have to select the status as to do or a complete task. So I'm just going to keep it as a to do task and let's click on save and send test request. And a new task will get created in our ClickUp account. So here we have got the response. It means a task is created. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our ClickUp account. Okay, and here we can see a new task created that is new lead received. It is assigned to Gary Monroe and as we have not specified the due date, it is blank over here and here the priority is high priority task. Let's open the task details and here we have got the description that is the name of the customer, his email address and the phone number. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. So whenever the data will be added to the Excel spreadsheet, automatically a new task will be created over here in your ClickUp account. Okay, so let's move back to Public Connect. Okay, I'll just scroll up over here. So now we have learned that how we can use Microsoft Excel inside Public Connect as a trigger application. So now we will be learning that how we can use Microsoft Excel as an action application in Public Connect. Okay, so for that I have already created a workflow over here. Okay. And here I have already taken the responses from the Google form submission. I have taken the trigger application as Google forms. Whenever the form is filled, automatically the details will be captured in Public Connect. And here you can see that the response is already received over here. Okay. So not only Google forms, you can use any trigger application over here to collect the responses in Public Connect. And you can send the same data to your MS Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So now we'll be adding this data to our Excel spreadsheet that is new leads over here itself. Okay. For that, we have to just click on this plus sign to add the action step. And here we will be choosing action application as MS Excel. Now here we have to search the action event. 
So here also you can see that we have several action events that is create worksheet. So it is going to create a new worksheet to a specific workbook. Add row to the worksheet. It is going to add a new row at the end of the worksheet. Create table. It is going to create a new table to a specific worksheet. Add row to a table. It is going to add a new row to a specific table at the end. And update table. So this particular action step is going to update the existing table of the workbook. Okay, so here I will be selecting the action event as add row to a specific worksheet. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Microsoft Excel. Now it is asking let this app access your info. So let's scroll down and click on yes to give away the permissions over here. And a connection will get created. Authorization successful. And now the Microsoft Excel account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Microsoft Excel account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your Microsoft Excel account. Now as we have created a connection here, we can find all the workbooks over here that we have created in our Excel account. And here we'll be finding the specific worksheet or the workbook name New Leads. Okay, our workbook name is New Leads. So we'll be finding the same over here because we want the data to be added to this particular workbook. And now we are going to select the worksheet. So here I have already shown you that the worksheet name is leads. So we will be selecting the same worksheet over here also. And if you have created multiple worksheets from the drop down, you can select your specific worksheet name also. Okay. So here you can see that I have created a single worksheet. So the name is automatically captured. Now here it is asking for the data that needs to be entered into the column A, column B, column C and column D. So we have already got all these details from our trigger response over here. That is the first name, last name, email address and the phone number of the customer. So now we are going to map these details now. For mapping, simply click it over here. Come to the drop down that is the trigger response of Google Forms. And from here we have to simply select the first name. In the same way we will be mapping the last name also. Here we will be mapping the email address. And here we will be adding the phone number. Okay, so we have mapped all the details. Now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received. It means a new data is added to our Excel spreadsheet. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our Excel spreadsheet. Okay, and here we can see that all the details of the Google Form submission are captured over here. We can find the first name as demo, last name as name. Here we can find the email address as well as the phone number. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. So now I'll just show you this in the real time also that how this complete process works. So here we'll be entering the details in the Google form which I have already created that is contact form. Okay, let's enter the details of the customer as support customer this time. Last name as customer. Email address as support at the rate pablitudes.com. Okay, and here we'll be entering the phone number and click on submit. So the form has been filled. Now let us check our MS Excel spreadsheet. We have to just refresh it. Okay, and here we can see that the details of the new customer is added over here. Name as support, last name as customer, email address, as well as the phone number. So in this way, we have learned that how we can use MS Excel as an action application. And here in this particular workflow, I have shown you that how you can use MS Excel as a trigger application. And in this way, we have learned that how we can use MS Excel inside Pabli Connect. Thank you, everyone. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.